In this video, we will show you how to interact with Solana, connect your wallet, and send money to other addresses in the simplest way possible. As you can see, we created a very minimalistic website. It has only two buttons and one input. We use the connect button to connect to our wallet. And we are using Phantom Wallet. Now, as you can see, we are connected. So we can select how many uh, sol we want to send. Let's say it's 0.01. And now we are clicking on send. And as you can see, it says that it will send, it's sending the, the sold to the given address. And we can approve it in our Phantom Wallet extension. Now the money was sent to the uh, given address. And uh, if you want, you can control to which address you want to send. It's just a matter of creating another input so that you can ha have uh, control over uh, who you send the money to. In our case, it's hard coded in the code base, which I'm about to show you. This is our code base and it's very simple. Starting from the top, you can see that we have head. In head, uh, we use the, the web free official Solana uh, library. We import it to our HTML. Down below, we have uh, standard HTML stuff. You're probably not interested in, in this video. Uh, just simple widgets, buttons, inputs. And they are, of course, styled in our CSS file, but this video is not about CSS. But anyways, we'll upload it to GitHub, so you'll be able to copy it and uh, create your own uh, page. But let's get it back. And here it's uh, here is something you're probably interested in, which is the script. And in the script, you can see that uh, we'll use our wallet. We create our lampers per soul because every soul has a given lamp or spare soul, just like in Solidity, every if has a given amount of way. Here's our connect wallet function that's connected to the connect button. So when you click on the connect button, uh, you try to connect to the wallet. If it works, that's great. If you have an error, it's cached and we create a, a console log. If you add you could uh, create a new widget on the screen and display the message to the user too. And down below, you can see that we have a listener so that uh, when the Solana is connected, uh, we change the connect button text to connected so that the user know that he's connected. He doesn't have to click the button again. Uh, everything's fine. And then uh, we have the send button click, which is connected to the uh, button. Uh, for sending the funds. And in this button, we have the hard-coded address, which could be an input tool, just like the amount, quantity. And the quantity, which takes the value from the element, and it uses the ID to get the uh, value. It's called uh, quantity here too. Then if quantity is not null or zero, uh, we uh, change the status to sending this much soul to this address. Very simple ellipsize address function, which uh, does the uh, magic here so that you have these three dots and you don't print the whole really long address. And then we are all done with user interface and move to the sign in uh, transaction and send money function. Or if the quantity was null or zero, we say that amount must be more than zero and we don't trigger the transaction function because there's no point. Now moving on to our function responsible for transferring the funds. You can see that we start with uh, creating two connection and transaction objects from the library we imported to this HTML. And also we declare the network and we use the devnet network. So that's important to also use it in your wallet. And then we start the whole try clause in which we create a new const lamports. So we take the quantity uh, from the input from the user interface and multiply it by lamports per soul. So that uh, we uh, send uh, the amount in lamports, not in a soul. It's important to operate in lamports uh, in the source code. And we have some console logs and uh, then we take the destination public key so the receiver, we get the account info, just uh, Solana boilerplate. We take receiver account info, again, losing the uh, library. 
and then we are, we are all done we can create a new instruction of uh, transferring money from um, wallet to wallet and this amount of lampwords we used to operate on a hard-coded amount of lampwords so this comment is uh, not needed here because now we uh, put it in our input and uh, then we create the transaction so we set the wallet transaction which we can use in our sign and send transaction function uh, as long as we take wallet transaction instruction and uh, connection connection being again the object from the library and uh, that's it that's the big uh, wall of code here but uh, pretty simple you can just copy and use it in your projects just uh, make sure to clean the code up a bit and uh, add more error handling to it uh, so that it's uh, easier and better for the users as you can see we only catch the error here and send the console warn that uh, the thing failed uh, we print the error but it would be better to have some visual information for the user as well as you can see the last two functions are helper functions which we used in the function above so the first one for creating the transaction model so we set of the transaction data here and we return it so that it can be used for the signed and sent transaction and then we have the signed and sent transaction which takes all the data we have all the data we composed and uh, puts it here to our final function which we access uh, from the wallet because uh, when you type window.solana.something it means that it interacts with your uh, integrated uh, wallet your wallet extension and it returns a signature which is required to confirm the transaction so when we confirm the transaction everything's done and the money is being sent to the receiver and that's it a very simple solution you can use in your own projects so make sure to subscribe leave a like and make sure whether you want us to create more solana videos as uh, usually we create videos about uh, ethereum also we are leaving a link in the description for to github for you to access thanks and see you next time